Have you ever marveled at the incredible faith displayed by the woman with the issue of blood? When she touched the hem of Jesus' garment, believing without a doubt that she would be made whole. This wasn't a mere whim of blind hope. She knew the scriptures and understood the words of the prophet Malachi. I'm Pastor G, and this is Biblical Elucidation, where we shed light on the scriptures to reveal things that once seen can't be unseen. In the closing verses of the book of Malachi, an extraordinary prophecy is told, promising that the Son of Righteousness will rise, carrying healing in its wings. At first glance, this may seem like a simple metaphor, but when we shine light, we uncover an astonishing revelation. The Hebrew word used for wings here is kanah which surprisingly connects to a profound revelation given by Moses in Numbers 15.38, where he instructs the people to attach fringes called tzitz to the borders of their garments. The hem in the Hebrew tongue, kanav. Now here's what's incredible. Imagine the level of faith and understanding this woman must have had to realize that in touching the kanav of Jesus' garment, that she was reaching out to the very promise of the healing power of God himself. This was no random act, but one of intent, a profound demonstration of her unwavering faith in the fulfillment of ancient prophecy. For this very moment, for this very reason, for this act to come to pass, she was made to endure her issue of blood. Just as the blind man lived without sight from birth for the manifestation of the works of God, this revelation brings us closer to the timeless message of the scriptures, where every word bears layers of meaning waiting to be discovered. This woman's story serves as a powerful reminder that when we seek to accurately understand the profound wisdom embedded in the scriptures, our faith is fortified and miracles become within reach. If deeper insights like this excite you, join me on this journey as we shine light. The more we seek, the more we find and discover even more in my books.